when the saw is up and running and the green light is on, if you touch the blade, you'll see that red light flash. That's telling you that the circuitry's on and it is, that would trip it. If the, if the saw were running, that would trip the brake and drop the blade. But I know how to set it up very quickly without the safety on, knowing that if I touch the blade with my fingers, it's not gonna help me out. I'm gonna explain it and then I'm gonna do it. Now, part of doing it is I actually have to turn the motor on and it's deactivated while it's running. And as soon as I turn it off, it reactivates it. At the top of the buttons here, there is, there's a key that you can pull out that will disable the saw so nobody can run it if that's not in there. But right above that, is a bypass button, it's just a black button, and I push in and hold it, and you can see what goes on, some lights start doing things. So I'm gonna push that button in, and I'm gonna wait for the red light to flash once. And it's, it's only gonna flash once, you've gotta keep your eyes on it. And then, without releasing that button, I'm going to pull out the start paddle, the red, the red lever, the blade is gonna start. I'm gonna hold that button in until I see the red light flash once again, and then I'm gonna let it go. And now it's in the bypass mode. Then I can make my cut, and as soon as, I could, and I could continue to cut with the blade running, with the circuit disabled. As soon as I turn it off, it's going to go back into its safety mode. So, you know, I'm not permanently biped. They've set it up for safety. So I've, I've uh, disabled it. I've made my cut and I've turned it off. I don't have to think about putting it back into safety mode. It automatically goes back in it as soon as I turn it off. So we're going to go through it. You'll hear it'll be a little bit noisy, but you'll, again, you'll see the, the red light flash once. Without letting go of the button, I'll turn it on. Flash again. It's, it's disabled. And now the motor's come to a stop. You can see it's gone back to a, a solid green light. And if I touch the blade, you can see that that light flashes again. It's telling me that the circuit is reengaged. That's all there is to it. If you like these, be sure to subscribe, share the channel with others. Oh, and if you want a set of my workbench plans or the smart woodshop plans, you can also click on the link right here at the end of this video or in the description down below. Thanks for dropping in. Have a great day.